oldest zoo in the five-state southwest region showcases the so-called life zones of Oklahoma with the flora and fauna native to the state. Even some of the species of trees which had died out in the state have been revived here. Some controversy does surround whether cougar are indigenous, but that's a human issue of no concern to the cats, which eat primarily white-tailed deer, so prevalent in Oklahoma. But these 7.7 .7 acres are recent history. Time does not allow the telling of tales and trivia of many decades. And the zoo holds a very storied past. In 1902, banker James B. Wheeler donated 44 acres to the city for a park, a place where families could recreate, picnic, float in canoes on the Canadian River, and walk the lush gardens, even play on the rather famous horizontal growing tree, and they did. But it wasn't long after it opened, a buck was donated to the park. That led to donations of captured wild animals and even pets so that by the middle of 1903, the growing menagerie was declared the zoo in a newspaper and Wheeler Park Zoo was born. Trouble came in the 20s as the park repeatedly flooded and many animals drowned. Land at 50th and Eastern on the northeast side was purchased and Lincoln Park became the zoo's new home with a June 1924 opening and attendance topping 25,000 on weekends. Celebrating Oklahoma's flora and fauna at the Oklahoma City Zoo today takes us to a place not originally intended to be the place and a park not originally intended to be a zoo. I'm Billy Roadley with Centennial Stories.